but I'ma bust that plug anyway. I don't turn money down any day. I don't got no job, I work the stain. Bro, I ain't got no job, he work this thing. Back in high school, I will work the pit. Hey guys, I'm sorry for this horrible lighting. Hold on, I think I have this stick on my teeth. Yeah. I am so sorry for this lighting. It is so unflattering to my face. I only have one little ring light. Otherwise, I have my two soft boxes, and that just changes everything, right? But I do not feel like setting up upstairs. I'm not trying to do all that. Anyhow, welcome. What the hell? Did you throw up? I don't know how to take care of dogs. I'm not a dog person. I became one because my little cousin got a dog. Oh, there she goes. Okay. Let's show you this guy. Ah, she is a miniature pincher. This is a kind of dog that Kendall Jenner has. But Kendall Jenner has the real breed. This is miniature. So she is mixed with Chihuahua and uh, a pincher. And I love Skye. She's so freaking cute. And she's not annoying like a Chihuahua. Fucking chihuahuas are annoying. Anyways, this is not a dog video. Although, I literally am a dog because of how hairy I am. But anyways, welcome to my shaving routine video. I will be showing you guys some tips and some tricks that you might not have thought about before. So, if you're hairy ass yes, bitch, welcome. I'm with you. It's okay. Um, if you are disgusted by human hair, grow the fuck up. We're mammals. Like, people that are disgusted by hair, just, I have questions. I really do. If you were blessed, and I repeat, if you were blessed to have no hair or thin hair, thank the Lord above. Because being hairy is so expensive, it is so painful, and it is shameful. And it shouldn't be. So this is why I want to film this video. Have you noticed that when shaving commercials come on for women, they put the woman in a bathtub shaving her legs, but she's not shaving shit. Like, she has no hair. She's literally hairless. And it's like, what Like what type of campaign is that? Venus embrace. Yeah, I said, bitch, swear. I said, bitch, swear. So I was recently on Snapchat, and I saw an article that was trending about how companies like Gillette, Venus, and V, they were going to start using models in their commercials that have hair. And they put out a statement saying that they didn't before because people would get offended by human hair on a woman. And I was just like, what the fuck? What the fuck? And I could not be any happier when I heard that news because I am tired of society shaming women for body hair. I'm tired of men being disgusted by pubic hair. If you're disgusted by pubic hair, you need to grow some fucking balls. Your mom has hair on her pussy, so you need to shut the fuck up. Dude, if a guy can't, like y'all, if a guy can't handle the hair on my body, he dead ass cannot handle and he won't handle my 100 personalities, my depressive modes, my mood swings, my standards, what I want out of life. Like he won't be able to handle none of that if he can't handle fucking hair on my body. You know what I mean? So guys that are like, ew, if she got the bush, I ain't fucking bitch. If I was a guy and I met a girl and she had a fucking bush, like I'm still fucking. Like, dude, in the 70s, bushes were so in. Like people would trim them to certain designs. You can do hearts. Like, dude. Pubic hair is there for a reason. Y'all, people that are disgusted by human hair are literally stupid in the head. Like, have you read a fucking... Hi, Sky. Do you think I'm pretty, Sky? Is that why you're looking at me? <laughs> She's probably like, those are some big-ass eyelashes. Like, do these people take fucking physical education where they teach you about having pubic hair actually te previene de enfermedades and shit like that like women have to have hair there and i had a question for all the girls that have laser on their kitty so i do want to get laser on my legs because i'm done spending money and being in pain every time i take away my hair right so i am looking into laser but i love having hair on my pussy if i'm not fucking right like if i'm not gonna have any dick appointments like i'm not gonna fucking shave and i love how a kitty looks when it's waxed because when you shave you have razor bumps and it does not look appealing so i like waxing it feels amazing it looks amazing but after like a week or so it feels raw down there and i don't like that feeling like when you have pubic hair it feels comfortable like come at me i don't care like if you're a guy right now watching this and you're disgusted like go suck a dick and grow some balls literally thank you 
And I have so much love and respect to the women out here that are breaking boundaries. The women that grow underarm hair and leave it out. And they like literally wear shirts and bathing suits and they go to the beach and they show it off. Girls that leave their hair on their legs and they go out like that with shorts. I'm like, damn, that right there is a fucking bad bitch. Ain't no Instagram baddie. No, no, no. That right there is a bad bitch. A woman that could go out with her hair and not be ashamed. That takes balls. That is another level of confidence that I'm trying to reach. That right there is another level of confidence that a lot of us bitches don't have and we wish we did. So shout out to all of you out there that are breaking roles. Feminism at its finest. Why do women have to shave and men don't? Why can men look like cavemen, but oh, let behold, a woman be in her natural state? That's disgusting. No, you're disgusting. Also, Bella, that girl from Disney Channel, that crazy bitch that hangs out with Tana, Tana Mango, Tana Mango. Um, that girl, Bella, is that her name? I don't know what her name is, but her, she recently took out a picture of her with underarm hair and it went viral. And it's like, oh my gosh, that's disgusting. <sighs> grow the fuck up seriously so if you are one of those girls that is disgusted by human hair if you're a guy that is disgusted by hair on a woman's body you can click the fuck out right now because this video will be disturbing you are gonna see me look the hairiest you are gonna see me twerking because if i'm shaving my whole body everyone's gonna see you know what i mean because it doesn't happen all the time like if i'm waxing the whole world gotta see that you know what I mean? Like, I, if, I'm not gonna go through all that pain for no one to see. All of you are gonna see me with no hair. <laughs> but if you're disturbed by fat bitches that like to feel sexy, click out. Click out. You know what I mean? Because I'm a fat bitch that's trying to feel sexy. So if you're one of those bitches that's like, oh, that's disgusting. She's morbid and trying to be sexy. You can click the fuck out. Um, another thing I wanted to share. Before I moved out to my own apartment, I was living at my parents' apartment, right? We have two rooms and one of them was mine. And, and I did not have a lock and i love to sleep naked there's been scientific studies that show that sleeping naked is healthy for the human body like go look it up but i love sleeping naked i cannot have anything on my body no socks no thongs no bra nothing you know and i did not have a lock so it's like dude what am i thinking and there's other people there my brother's girlfriend lives with us and the baby you know um my nephew and it's like, dude, I have to have some respect. Like, there's people living. Why am I sleeping naked when there's other people living around me, you know? So that's stupid of me. So um, I'm sleeping. It's like 12 or something. And my nephew walks into my room. He probably forgot a toy or something because he would go in there, you know? So he went in there and I sleep like crazy. And I had no blanket on me. And my whole ass was out. My hairy ass butthole. <laughs> wow, you would come at this moment when I said my hairy butthole was out and my whole hairy ass <laughs> legs were showing because I'll show you in the video of waxing when you wax you have to let a whole cycle of hair come out to a grain of rice before you actually wax because if you try to wax with hair this short it's not gonna adhese you know what I mean so you need long hair so you could grab onto the wax and rip off your hair so long story short I was hairy as fuck I hadn't waxed and everything was out on full display and my nephew saw that and then my brother came in and he saw that and dude my brother <laughs> I'd rather Pornhub see me naked than my brother. My brother's Libra. Like, Libra men are disgusted by things that are not beautiful. Like, Libra men are disgusted by hairy women. My brother's girlfriend saw me naked. Like, I literally cried my eyes out, bro. Like, I was devastated. And after that happened, after that incident happened, I literally moved out, like, two weeks after. After two weeks, I literally moved out because I couldn't, I couldn't even look at them in the face after they had seen me like that. And, like, did you fart? No. Oh. Um, I was devastated, I was disgusting by myself and I was ashamed and I was like after I had moved out and all that shit had happened I was like dude I should not be ashamed of having hair on my body because it's natural and it grows on everybody some people grow out less hair than others but it grows out regardless you know what I mean so I was like dude I should not feel ashamed about having hair and I don't want women out there to feel ashamed either accept that shit we're humans we're not perfect you know um, but I do hate that they saw me naked and I do hate that I did not have respect for others and I should have had a pajama on out of respect for others, right? So I do apologize for that and I do feel like my nephew hates me ever since then. I honestly feel like I traumatized him. Like he was so little and he saw a naked ass fat bitch with fucking hair all over her fucking body. That's disgusting. I feel so sorry for my nephew. 
But anyway, so this video is just to say, you know what? Like, I'm fucking hairy as fuck. What do you want me to do? God made me like this. You know what I mean? Also, dude, there's so much pressure on social media and in the media, period, on TV about women being perfect. And they put this image out about women being so thin and hairless. No, like, there's fat bitches out here that are hairy. Like, you have to... Why don't you show that on TV? Because people are offended. Trump is offensive and he's in office. So my hair should not offend you. You're stupid. Oh my gosh, this doesn't fall. Nikki, come right here and hold this light. So it doesn't fall. Just like stand right there behind and be my little cameraman and then just hold it just in case, okay? Okay. So, oh my gosh, my leg is asleep. Ah, oh, sky fucking slid on my leg. My leg is numb. I am blessed to be flexible as hell. I can literally put my leg on the back of my head. Um, so I can wax my own kitty and my own bijo, you know what I mean? So I don't have to go to a chinita. That is so embarrassing, you guys. Like, if I ever did that service where I get my Brazilian wax and all that, or, like, just my whole kitten wax, I would literally go in a turban. I, like, people cannot... And glasses. Like, like, people... Imagine a viewer. Imagine a viewer being my fucking wax lady. That... Oh, my God. She go on tour. Like, I saw Lulu's pussy. Like, hell no. Nah, you know what I mean? So... I'm so blessed to wax my own kitty and be able to have that. But other people, they have to pay like $85 or more to get their shit waxed. I'm telling you, dude, having hair is expensive. So be blessed and appreciate that shit if you don't have hair. <laughs> well, I'm so embarrassed. Why? <clears throat> I haven't because... heard anything. Dude, do you watch my videos? No. Okay, good. Now you're watching. What? Because my dad you, watches them. Your and videos I... go on PS4. How do you, how do you know? I saw them on there. Really? They go on PS4. Oh my. Sky, why are you shaking? I can't think, like, oh, I can't do this because what's my family gonna think? Yeah. I can't build this house because what's my family? No. I gotta do what I gotta do. Yeah. That's what you gotta Let do. me get past mm -hmm. This is you gotta do, me. Just do what you gotta do. Whatever it is you guys do. At the end of the video, once I'm fully waxed and shaved, I am going to show off some pieces because I am working on a lingerie, activewear, and sex toy shop because I'm tired of overhyped, overpriced Victoria's Secret. It is so expensive and it's so boring. Like, nothing at Victoria's Secret interests me. Like, there's some pieces, the lingerie that I like, and they're like $200. It's like, bitch, this is why girls aren't out here looking sexy because it's so expensive too. Look sexy, you know what I mean? So I want to bring sexy at an affordable price. And I'm looking into fun pieces, you know what I'm saying? Like stripper type of pieces and anal plugs and thongs that are affordable and they're cute. They have like little hearts, rhinestones. They have pieces of metal and jewelry in the thongs. Like that type of shit that I personally am into. That I want to buy at a store but there isn't like other than like Adam and Eve and those type of shit, you know, but I want to make my own brand, you feel me? Because I have my own taste. So I will be having pieces like this, you know what I mean? Like these type of stripper thongs. I love how these look. I love the colors too. This one right here, Damien. Pieces like this. You're like this type of shit. I don't mean to, you feel me? Like look how cute. Ooh, I'm not gonna show everything because I'm still working on it, you feel me? Now this is a project that I've been having in the works for years, but I haven't manifested it because I've had other priorities. Last year I lived alone. I moved out for my parents. It was the most amazing time of my life. It, it Ooh! I, I get visions like Raymond Simone of like how happy I was. I love living alone. And I was spending about 4000 just on rent and living. 4000 And it's fine, you know, but it's like I'm wasting time when I could have downgraded my spending and spent 3000 on just like merch and projects. So what I did, once my lease was over, I came back to my parents. I went to Miami, then I came back to my parents. My lease was over because I did not want to live in that apartment anymore. I loved it. I love the high ceilings, everything was perfect, but I'm a Sagittarius, so I get bored being in one place for so long. Like, I need change constantly. I need a new scenery. I want to go to a new city, experience new people. You know what I mean? So I did not want to stay there. So I came back to my parents so I can save money and put into my projects. That's literally what I'm doing right now. And I am miserable at my parents. Literally miserable. Like, me and my family do not get along. It's just problems. We piss each other off. And I do not feel like I'm at home because other people live with me so it's not like my I can't, I can't i can't feel like 
like freedom and like to be who I am at my house at a comfortable leisure like it's a sacrifice you know you have to do sacrifice especially me dude I spend money on stupid shit like I was buying Versace Gucci shit and it's like yo I need to put this into projects instead basically what I'm trying to say is I'm growing up and I'm prioritizing my money now before I was spending it on stupid shit I would spend money on the most ridiculous shit that I did not need and it's like Bitch, um, I could have done this, 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 this and that and been here, here and there. And el tiempo se pasa away, like, you know, like, I spent one whole year in my apartment. I wasn't really active on social media because I was so happy and ecstatic and I was just enjoying my fucking life, enjoying, like, the hard work that I put in to get that, to get that freedom of living alone. And it's so amazing. I love it. So, yeah, I cannot wait to move out again. I am trying to move out to Long Beach because, bitch, I love the LBC. Like, Playa Larga is so fucking liberal. And I was living, I'm not gonna say where, but I was living in a like nice area and it was boring. Like, I, like it's, there was a nice place, it was boring. I'm trying to be in the ghetto, I'm trying to be in the hood, and it's so lit, the beach is there. Like, wow, just thinking about me moving to LB gets me excited. Like, I wanna be at a fucking little apartment with a little porch and then walk to the beach, do some paddle boarding, smoke a blum, watching the sunrise. I am scared of tsunamis, but bitch, you know what, I'm trying to die anyway, so fuck it. I don't know how Sky is sleeping. I'm talking so loud. Alright, so, um, what I need help with before I start this video, I need help with my brand name because I ran into some trouble. So, I had Vixen, V-I-X-X-X-E-N, as my brand name, right, for my lingerie, activewear, and all that. But, I googled it, right, I was like, I just googled the name Vixen, V-I-X-E-N, and I came across this Instagram that said vixen official and it just said photography page and it had girls in lingerie but it didn't say like lingerie line coming soon like nothing like that right so i just thought it was a photography site and their name was vixen vixen photography or something right so i was like, okay cool and this was like a while back and then i searched for the vixen domain the v-i-x-x-x-e-n and it's available so i offered that guy one thousand dollars and he never responded he probably wants like five thousand you buy the brand and then you're gonna make obviously profit from that brand so you know 5,000 it's understandable because you can make way more than that with the brand right so I'm gonna offer some more money Vixen is not taken the one I came up with V-I-X-X-X-E-N then I found out that that Vixen photography page changed their whole Instagram because I've been keeping up with it so I could see like what's going on right and then like just one month ago it said oh vixen laundry coming soon but they don't have anything they just have pictures of porn stars and laundry that they're working with so should i still go through with the original name i had before that site even came up you know i didn't even know that that vixen photography page existed when i had vixen in my head so they can't say i copied like i have receipts of when they were just a photography page um and i like vixen like i would wear vixen merch to the gym i wouldn't be embarrassed because YouTubers merch is cringy because they put their name on shit and it's like I'm not trying to have your name that like, you're just a human being Why am I idolizing you? You're not that special to me So I rather support a brand, you know, and I also have my bongs coming out and that's baked bunny And I've had this for years also and I have receipts I've gone on snapchat and shown people like do not take this idea I already came up with it and it's basically a bunny with a skull and instead of ears um, is marijuana leaves and I've shown that logo in my intro, but that's not the official logo So with the laundry and the bongs I've had that for years, but I never went through with it because again I had my priorities set on different things with my money, right? My rent, my living expenses, my car, all that bullshit So now that I can actually focus on merch We're gonna get this shit popping and also I owe 20 girls 20 girls their long sleeve 420 sweetheart merch they probably think i'm like the ace family and fussy tube that scammed like over 2,000 subscribers out of merch and they never send them shit but for me i'm gonna send them a care package with the bongs that i'm selling and when my vixen shit comes out send them a care package that i'm in so just wait for your package if you haven't received it honestly like what i'm giving you is worth more than you paid for so and if you don't want that just throw it to the fucking trash I feel so bad. So when I found out that that Vixen site photography turned laundry had a Vixen as their name, I was like, wow, like now there's gonna be two Vixen laundries? That can't that can't happen, you know? Like is there legal trouble that I could run into? I don't know, but it's not the same name. Mine has three X's, triple X type shit because sex toys. And the other name I have was Dominatrix with three X's at the end. 
so let me know about the names so that's it that's it for this long ass intro i hope you enjoyed this video These are my favorites. I love the Veet 3-in-1s, but please do not get the Veet face wax strips. This is not the best result you ever see. This product literally needs to be removed out of the market because it left me with scars and it took off like one inch of my skin. These NAD strips are amazing. They're three bucks at Big Lots when they're like 12 at Target. So go to Big Lots, bitch, and save that coin. You cannot wax if your hair is this short. You have to let your hair grow out hella long. Yes, you're going to be looking like a caveman for like five, three weeks. But do we really give a fuck? I don't. Society does, but I don't. You have to let that shit grow out like this. As long as a grain of rice. So go to your pantry and measure up your hair. If it's as long as rice, go ahead and wax it. legs there though like my boobs out oh, bitch it's it's a full-time job being fat that's why i'm trying to lose weight like i'm tired can y'all see there though can i is this a good angle fuck it this towel is ugly i'm gonna get monetized bro hey 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 I'm running this rag under fucking boiling hot water. Okay, that's enough. So it could open up my pores, okay? And then as you squeeze it, try not to fucking burn your hands off because it's, oh my gosh, it's so hot. Dude, this hotel has boiling hot water. I could literally put a chicken here. Yes, said caldo, like it's crazy. Ah! This is a bad angle. I'm trying to find the right angle. Is that a good angle? Who? What the? Who? What the? Who? Like, how can I do this? Like this? I get shots coming under the... Maybe like... This. This. This is good, no? Yes. Who? What the? 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 Who? Another song. Okay, another song. Baby girl, I need to know. Who finna rap? Get the rubbers from the store. If you have long nails, it's gonna be kind of fucking hard, you know? That's why I don't have my nails on, so. Let me tell you something. Get the fuck out of here. Look at that. 
That is crazy. I fucking love these. This is like salon quality type shit, you guys. Like if a guy can't handle hair on my body, if you can't handle my fucking hair, not gonna handle me. Like you just can't handle a bitch like me. You feel me? Like. Especially when you're with Mexican family members, like having traditional parents, like it's hard to do what I do, you know? Because I don't get to do what I do to the full potential that I want to do it at because my dad watches me on YouTube and shit like that. It just like makes me cringe and makes me not want to do shit that I want to do because my dad's watching this shit. And it's like my dad's like, uh, I don't know, I have like some weird shit with my dad. Like some girls could be sexy around their dad and stuff like that. Some girls could be sexy around their dad and shit like that, but not me, bitch. Like, what the fuck? That's weird. So, like, when my dad watches this, I'm already fucking cringing. But, it's like, I can't let my people hold me down. I can't let these locals hold me back. You feel me? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I dropped all the beat shit. Look at this. I could literally make it rain with beat strips, bitch. Cash. In this bitch shining. I do have my toenails painted, okay? They're sheer pink. They're baby sheer pink because every bitch got her toes white right now. So it's like, I'm trying to not do that. They look so nice though. I love white toes. They look so sexy, especially if your shape of your toes are nice. All right, here we go. One, two, three. I have so many bruises. Oh, shit. I have so many bruises from me with Nikki and my nephew. That's like, I look like I've been used and abused. Like, what the fuck? And you already know I am not about to sit my ass crack on that floor because I don't know what's been on there. I don't know what people have done in there. No. So I bought a tapete for like eight bucks. And it's the little foam ones because my fucking vagina and my asshole, it ain't gonna touch that. You feel me? This is not. And get at there, cloro para limpiarla, but I was like, bitch. That ain't my job, okay? That's a fucking maid's job. And I hope they're disinfecting the fucking tubs. My aunt works in Vegas and she tells me that they do use disinfectant, but who the fuck knows what the fuck they be doing here. But anyways, be safe, stay safe. We don't want no motherfucking... And if I start itching down there, I'm gonna sue. That's all I know. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this kind of feels like setting powder. <gasps> New video, soothing oatmeal bath treatment and setting powder. Bitch, what the fuck? If your bathtub is pretty big and you're pretty fat, like me, you can go ahead and use like two packets, I'd say. Let's get that Sharia oatmeal in there.
this is five weeks five weeks without shading my arm so that's like a month and a week and it does not grow back thicker this is how my hair used to be before so all those myths about oh your hair grows back thicker no it does not look one month no shading also yes women have hairs on their fingers this is again one month and one week without shaving and of course i take my hair off i'm sorry but i cannot walk around like this i cannot go on a date and grab my utensils my fork and have hairs on my fucking fingers because that's just not the way i roll but if you're like that congratulations for having the balls and i appreciate you for breaking boundaries of expectations on women you know but again for me i have to be hairless like no arm on my hair so all i do is just take a plain old razor and oh my god i just cut myself <gasps> bitch i just cut my fucking skin off <sighs> dude i literally took like a centimeter of skin deep off of my fucking finger oh oh my gosh simple as that just shave down shave like this shave in every direction so that when the guy that you're fucking with touches your arm he doesn't feel no stubble shave the back of your hand or is this the front of your hand is this the back of your hand or the front i don't know that and then your knuckles yes mm, girl i cannot i'm sorry that's back lighting i don't have a pusher bra Dude, I love jiggly boobs. This is why like, I don't want to get my boobs done, but it's like I have to because I've lost weight, gained weight, lost weight. And I want my boobs to be sitting. But like, I love natural jiggly boobs. Um, right there. Perfect. Okay, so I tweeze. You don't need to see me in focus. Don't worry about it. Just listen to me. I never wax my eyebrows. I've never gotten them threaded. No one has ever touched my brows besides me. And it's gonna stay like that till I die. So this is how it looks when I haven't tweezed my eyebrows in about five weeks. I let these shit grow out for y'all so you could see. So that's how my eyebrows look. And I just tweeze away. I never, like I said, will trust anybody with my brows besides me. Because only I know how I want them. You know what I mean? All my friends that have gotten their brows threaded or waxed have gotten their shits botched. Bitch, I am sweating because it is so hot up here. Um, houses that have two stories, the top floor is always the hottest because all the hot air rises. Science! You know what I'm saying? And we don't have the air on. All the windows are open. Porque pues ya ven, sale bien carito la luz y todo. Yup, 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 yup. These shits are sharp. Like, I love these tweezers. Yes. Even the tweezer men, tweezers suck ass. No. And they're so expensive.
Oh my gosh, I would get a call. Hey, real shit, I need to lose fucking weight. Like, look, this is me sucking in my whole fat ass stomach, but I could look snatched if I actually trained. So after you are done waxing or shaving your entire body, do not apply lotion. It will irritate your skin and give you razor bumps. You need to buy this Kiehl's Close Shavers Razor Bump Relief. This is a miracle worker. If you shave your kitten, you need this shit right now i swear by it i want to recommend it to everybody but it's so expensive and it's so tiny this shit is 30 bucks but it is my secret weapon y'all need it say hello to my little friend <laughs> There's a guy next to me with his daughter and I can't be around this man like that with these type of bathing suits. Like YouTube for instance, they demonetize chubby, thick and plus size people because supposedly that's offensive. So a girl could be wearing the thing I'm wearing, not offensive, not demonetized. I wear my fat ass, my fucking Pillsbury biscuits, open can looking head ass, where is it? I get demonetized. Yo, I'm sure someone's fucking looking. There's so many people that are hiking and... 